Hi everybody, I'm really excited because I got a tattoo. So this is my Cameron tattoo and this is of my son. He's 10 and this is Cruz. Say hi. Hi. Cruz is a little not feeling too well today. I'm sick. You sick? Yeah, I'm sick. My little baby. Cameron's right there but he's too shy to come. So anyway, I just got my tattoo. And this is what it looks like. It says Cruz. So I have Cameron Cruz. Since Cruz's name is shorter, it could be smaller than this one. But if this these letters were as large as this one, it would be way too big. So this is Cruz. Does it look backwards here? Anyway. It hurt like you have no idea. It hurts so bad. And I am not getting a tattoo ever again. This is my last one because it hurt so bad. It was throbbing. Right now it's just starting to feel a little bit normal, but it was throbbing for like two hours. So I'm really excited and now I'm going to go clean it up. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you and I'll talk to you later. Bye. If you guys have any tattoos, do a video response so you can show me your tattoos. I have a few other ones, and maybe I'll show them when I come back. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I just washed it with some soap. I hope it's not bad to wash it with antibacterial soap. So I'm going to look that up and see. If that's bad, if it's too drying, I'm not sure. If it is, I'll just use Dove soap, but I did wash it this time with antibacterial soap. He did tell me how to take care of it, but I forgot, so I'm gonna look it up again. But anyway, I just washed it with antibacterial soap, and he told me to put lotion on that um, has no fragrance in it, so I used I used um, the generic version of, one second, I just used the generic version of the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, however you say it, because I find that the generic version of things work just as fine as the normal kind and, and they're cheaper. So I just dabbed that on and he said to do it twice a day, but I do not want it to flake up or dry up or any of that. I don't want to lose the intensity that I have, so I'm definitely going to just do that like probably 10 times a day. Let me do something really quick. The screen looked a little dirty. Okay, so let me just show you the rest of my tattoos and give you a little bit of meaning behind them. My very first tattoo was this Daisy and my best friend, her name is Paula. This is the Daisy. My best friend and I started off with this one. Then we went like a couple days later and we got a, this was when we were 18, it was a long time ago, and we got the sun. So we got the sun next and she got hers like off centered and I got mine over here. So her son is like over here and mine is obviously over here. And so my best friend and I got that. My best friend and I got that when we were 18. And the reason why we chose that is because when I would doodle when I was little, we were little, all we would doodle was sun and a flower. So that's why we did that. So that one means a lot to me because even though we don't talk every day, when we get together, it's like we time hasn't changed us. We are still like the best friends that we used to be. That, that's how I feel. And um, I feel like she's like my family. Even though we don't get to see each other too much because she's really busy. She has six kids and she's doing her thing. And I, we don't even live that far away. We live about 25 minutes away from each other. And I'm actually going to make more of an effort to see her more because I miss her a lot. And so about, let's see, my son was four 
and now he's 10. So six years ago, I went to visit my sister in Hawaii. She was going to college there at HPU, and we decided to get these. These are two hibiscus flowers. I'm the big one because I'm the older sister. She's the little one because she's the little sister. And she went first, and she got hers on her back right about here. And she sat there and she was crying with the pain. It hurt so bad. And I was like, crap, my turn's going to be next. And she's like crying, like hugging that thing like this because you know it hurts so bad. So I'm like freaked out about it, worried and all that stuff. And my little boy, he was like out. He was outside. He wasn't there, but he was going to come back soon. And I didn't want him to see me going through pain. So... I was really worried about him and that aspect. So when it was my turn, oh my gosh, I could not sit there through that pain. I just couldn't. So as soon as he was done with the outline, that's why it has no color and it's not shaded. If you see my sister's, you'll see how beautiful hers is. It's beautiful. And little old big sister couldn't take the pain. What a little wussy I am. But I just could not take the pain. I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. I was like, are you done with the outline? He's like, I'm almost done. But I was moving so badly. So I felt so bad for him. So <clears throat> that's why there's no color or shading or anything. But from, you know, just memories of being in Hawaii and my sister, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, and tattoos are supposed to mean something anyway. That's how I feel. They're supposed to mean something to you. So every tattoo that I have means something to me, definitely. So I'm, I'm very glad that I have that. And I keep saying maybe one day I'm going to have the balls to, sorry, maybe one day I'm going to have the whatever to um, actually get it shaded and colored. But after getting this one, I'm like, that's not going to happen. So then I got this one about five years ago, and it says Cameron, that's my first son's name. I love this one. And then <clears throat> I was like, that's going to be my last one. And actually, I don't remember this one hurting that bad at all. And then I was like, wow, this one didn't hurt when the other one hurts so bad. And then my little two-year-old, he's like, that says Cruz. I'm like, no, that says Cameron. But I always knew I was going to get his name put on me, and so I just, I'm the type of person that's like, I, once I set my mind and I decide I want it done right then and there, I have to get it done. So, t I wanted to do it yesterday, but things didn't work out as planned, so I wanted to get it done earlier today at the same place that did this one, because I know they're credible and they were really awesome but they didn't have any time available. So I was like looking through the internet and then I called this other place and they were closed, like closed down. And then my sister called at the perfect time and I was telling her, you know, I want to get my tattoo and this place is closed and I don't know what to do. She's like, why don't you go to the mall? They have one there. And I'm like, they have a tattoo place at the mall? No, they don't. She's like, yeah, it's there. And I looked it up and certainly they did. So she was right and she saved the day. And I got my little cruise tattoo, and I couldn't be happier, and I'm so happy right now. So thank you so much for watching, and as I've said before, please, if you have tattoos, do a video or post pictures or do something. I love to see tattoos and the reason and the meaning behind them. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye.